G'day legends, welcome back. So today we're going to do a bit of a maintenance video. I'm going to show you how to clean your air filter. So before I show you how I clean my air filter, I um, just want to go through the air filter that I actually have in my car. Um, I run a Ryko Performance O2 Rush filter. Why do I run a aftermarket air filter? Well, it's simple. I want my car to breathe better. It's just like smoking, you and your lungs. You smoke, your lungs get clogged up, you're not going to perform as well. Same principle with your engine. You keep your air filter clean, your car is going to run better. It's that simple. So I like to clean my air filter at least once every two months. Um, and it can be more often depending on if I'm going away on a trip um, I will clean it before and after the trip it might only be a weekend but I'll do that or I might go out for a day on the tracks and it'll be really dusty you know following in convoy on some really dusty tracks it's going to clog up your air filter so that's why I have a aftermarket air filter so I can just pull it out wash it put it back in and keep going so I'll go through what you get in a foam filter reconditioning kit from Ryko. This is the one that I use. Really simple. It only has two products. We got the foam filter cleaner. There we go. This one, which is used first. And then the foam filter conditioner, which is second. Um, yeah. We don't need much. Just the two products, a bucket. I've got some disposable gloves so I don't get all oily and greasy. And yeah, let's get into it. So removal of the air filter in the Ford range is actually really simple. All you do is undo the mass sensor, release three little clips, and the lid pops open. That simple. Take it out, inspect it. As you can see, it's actually really filthy. Um, I got my car serviced about five weeks ago now, and yeah, as you can see, this is just from daily driving. I did do one, one track over Christmas. Uh, it wasn't really that dusty because I was leading the pack, so which isn't too bad. So let's go and I'll show you how to clean it. So the beauty of the Ryko O2 Rush filter is it's got two parts to it, makes it easier for cleaning. So it's got the outer foam and the inner foam. So I'm going to take both of them off and and as you see, the inner foam actually isn't too bad. It's just the top that's a bit dirty um, and, and the edges. But I'm still going to clean both of them. So it's pretty simple. All you do is grab some, some of the foam filter cleaner. And I'm going to pour a little bit inside and all over it. I'm just going to rub it, rub it through and you just want to lather it in and you'll start to see all the dust start to come out. And you don't want to twist it as well, um, that'll ruin all the foam itself. You'll see it kind of lather up a bit. You'll see it, there's a big dirty mark there, that's all gone now. Then once you've done that, you just want to wash it two or three times in the bucket bucket of fresh water until it goes nice and clear. And if you need to replace the water, do it again. No harm in doing that either. So there's the inner, as you can see, sparkling clean now. So we'll just put that to the side, maybe wring it out. You want to avoid twisting it, so I'm just squishing, gently squishing out any excess water. And then what I like to do is kind of just wave it around there we go then I'll hang this up on my antenna usually let it dry out then we'll do the, do the outer so there you go that's before as you can see filthy Uh, you can't really tell, but it's all lathering up nicely. 
I reckon that's about it. And we wash it out. Might just get another bucket. Give it another wash. There we go. As you can see, it is beautiful and clean. So same thing again. Just gonna put this in the sun, let it dry. And I'll show you what I do while I'm letting uh, the, the filter foams dry. And then as you can see, it's pretty filthy in here. So what I'll do is I'll just grab that same rag and I'll tidy all this up and get it all clean. Inside's pretty, that's where all the air goes. So inside's all pretty clean. Just a bit of residue in there from last time I cleaned it, but it looks pretty good, which the filter is doing its job. There you go, as you can see, spotless. So, of course, on the out, out edge here, um, all the, the rain and, and dust will settle on here on the outer edge because um, the snorkel. But on the inside there and up into the intake, crystal clean. All right, so as you can see, both now been sitting in the nice hot sun for about, oh, I don't know, an hour when they had a coffee. You know, let it do its thing in the sun, it's all nice and dry. What we'll do now is we'll grab the foam filter conditioner and we kind of want to put this all over the whole the whole filter itself and get a nice even uh, cover on the whole fi filter. Just want to fold it into itself and move the oil around all over the filter just to get it in there nicely nice even cover and we don't want to leave any dry spots at all just want to massage it in nice and lightly just getting that even coverage you don't really need to to use too much either so you can massage it through and get it all in there nice there you go that's the inner done we'll throw that back on Good, there we go, that's that done. Now for the outer, I'm just going to fold this, kind of flatten it and fold it in half. <laughs> hey mate. Done, there we go. I feel like I've got a nice even coverage inside and out. Put that on there as well. There we go. Look at that, just like brand new. Now we can throw it back in the in the airbox. So all you do now, put it back in the airbox, center it up. That should slip straight back into the intake. Do up your three clips. Chuck on your map sensor. Making sure that the little red clip is down. Done. There you go, guys. That's how I clean my air filter. It's actually a really simple process, a couple of products, and you know, half an hour on a really sunny day to an hour to two hours on a, an overcast day and your air filter will be nice and dry, ready to be conditioned and put back in. But it's one of those things that you really need to take care of and look after because if you look after your engine hopefully it'll look after you out on the tracks you won't have any issues so what i'll do is i'll leave all the links to the description for all the products that i use with the Ryko stuff on my car and if you've got any comments or questions let me know down below and i'll get back to you thanks for watching